night, one person was hit by a car on the boulevard near Fashion Show. Police telling us they are now fighting for their life at a local hospital. No word on whether the driver stayed on the scene or what may have led to this. But this marks the second accident involving a pedestrian in less than 24 hours, and police are just at their wits end. Last night, a husband and wife were killed near the South Point. 13 Action News reporter Parker Collins is there, live near Silverado Ranch in Las Vegas Boulevard with new information, Parker. Beth, police say this couple, they're from out of town. They were leaving the South Point behind me and trying to meet family across the street over here at Denny's. But I want to point out, they just ran across the street instead of going to a crosswalk, which is just a few feet down in this direction. The other frustrating part for police, they also think this driver was impaired. Like you said, they are at their wit's end. They don't know how else to warn people. <sighs> if there's something possible, we'd be doing it because it, from a police standpoint, it's not a lack of effort. Captain Nick Farisi says they haven't been slacking on enforcement at all. This weekend, they arrested 12 drivers at one DUI checkpoint. Metro also had extra officers just dedicated to DUI patrols over the weekend. Despite all of this, it was a deadly few days. Beyond frustrating, uh, we're just getting out of a, a really bad weekend, the holiday weekend, where we had three fatalities just in our jurisdiction, all that had some form of impairment associated with them. And now here we are again. The captain also made the point to say they are not calling this an accident. They're calling it a collision, and that is on purpose because this was preventable. Back to you.